हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास एज वी हैव लर्न इन द प्रीवियस मॉड्यूल्स दैट एडजेक्टिव्स एंड एडवर्ब्स आर द मॉडिफायर्स और द डेकोरेटिव वर्ड्स पर हैप्स वी हैव नेवर गिवन इट मच थॉट बट एडजेक्टिव्स एंड एडवर्ब्स हैव टू थिंग्स इन कॉमन दे बोथ मॉडिफाई अनदर वर्ड and they both show degree of comparison too adjectives are used to modify a noun or pronoun whereas adverbs modify meaning of verbs adjectives and other adverbs but what about comparative adverbs what are they and when do we use them let us learn together as we know one of the jobs of an adverb is to modify verb action in this picture we can see a motor bike is moving now please read the sentence the motor bike moves fast this sentence simply describes how the bike is moving Here the speed of motor bike is not compared to any other object so the adverb fast is said to be in the positive degree now moving to the next slide here are two objects one is a motor bike and another is a car and they both are in moving position Now please read the sentence The car moves faster than the motor bike This sentence compares two things the car and the motor bike One thing more when we use a comparative degree of an adverb we place the word than after its comparative form Let us move to the next slide. Here are three objects: an aeroplane, a car, and a motor bike. And they all are in moving position. Now please read the sentence. The aeroplane moves the fastest of all. This sentence compares the speed of more than two objects. When we compare three or more things, we use superlative degree of adverb. Here, the adverb fastest is in the superlative form. Now please repeat these sentences after me. and meanwhile try to trace out degrees of adverb in these sentences the motor bike moves fast the car moves faster than the motor bike The aeroplane moves the fastest of all. I think you all have identified the degrees. In the first sentence we can see there is a word fast. The word fast is simply describing the verb moves. and moving to the next sentence there is a word faster faster word is used to compare the speed of two things the speed of car and the motor bike so we can say the comparative degree is used to show who or what has performed an action in a specific manner to the greater or lesser degree In other words it is used to compare two performances in the same category 
In the last sentence, there is a word fastest. It is showing the superlative degree. The superlative degree is used to show who or what has performed an action in a specific manner to the greatest or least degree. So here the words fast, faster and fastest are the positive, comparative and superlative degrees of the adverbs respectively. Let us learn how to form comparative and superlative adverbs. There are three ways in which the comparative and superlative of adverbs are formed depending on the spelling of the base adverbs. First, when the adverbs retain the same form as the adjectives form. In this case, the comparative degrees is formed by adding ER to positive and the superlative is formed by adding EST to the positive. Look at a few examples. Please repeat after me. Soon, sooner, soonest. Hard, harder, hardest. Fast, faster, fastest. Let us use these examples in sentences. Please repeat after me. Rajni worked hard. Satish worked harder than Rajni. Kavita worked the hardest among them all. Now let us move. If the adverbs ends in ly, then the comparative degree is formed by adding more before the positive form and the superlative degree is formed by adding most before the positive form. Look at a few examples. Please repeat after me. Carefully, more carefully, most carefully. Cautiously, more cautiously, most cautiously. Sweetly, more sweetly, most sweetly. Let us use these examples in sentences. Please repeat after me. Ratna sings sweetly. Shelly sings more sweetly than Ratna. Preeti sings most sweetly among them all. Mohini jumps quickly. Jagat speaks English more fluently than Mahi.
Please note the word early is an adverb to which we do not add more and most although it also ends up in letter ly but when we make the comparative and superlative form of early we form in this way early earlier and earliest respectively some adverbs exist in irregular forms they don't take on the suffixes er or est nor they need the words more or most like the previous adverbs the comparative and superlative adverb forms of these adverbs have totally different spellings so please pay attention and repeat these words after me ill or badly the comparative form of it worse and superlative is worst well better best much many more most little less least late letter last or latest far father and farthest so we can observe that the spelling of these adverbs are totally different let us use these examples in sentences please repeat after me mohan dances well mohit dances better than mohan rajat dances the best them all let us recapitulate what we have learned there are three degrees of comparison positive comparative and superlative when we use a comparative degree of an adverb we place the word than before its comparative form for the adverbs ending in ly we form the comparative degree of adverbs by adding more before its positive form whereas for the adverbs ending in ly we form the superlative degree of adverbs by adding most before its positive form that's all for today goodbye